but I guess that's the only way people will feel compelled to tip. I guess my hard work, time, energy, and effort are not good enough. Hi guys, it's your girl Riveting Radiance, and today's video is going to be what I hate about being a makeup artist. Let me just start off by saying I enjoy being a makeup artist for the most part, but there are certain aspects of my job that I strongly dislike weddings any wedding that i've done i've always had anywhere between nine and ten girls i don't know why these bridal parties are so large but i don't have nine or ten friends i don't know about you guys but even if i did i don't think i'm close enough with them that i would want them to share the most personal intimate moment of my life with me we're cool we can hang out and talk on the phone send a few text messages here or there maybe shoot each other emails but when i think of a wedding i think of like your most close personal intimate relationships and you want the people who share that day with you to be extremely special and near and dear to your heart as far as the guests they don't have to be but as far as people who are actually in the wedding party and i'm not saying that it's not possible to have close-knit relationships with nine or ten people i'm just saying that i don't <laughs> and if i were to get remarried again today it would probably be less than five girls in my wedding i think some of the people are putting their family members in like their sisters and their cousins and their friends so that makes sense sometimes people put people from the bride side of the family in the wedding and then also from the groom side of the family which i guess is okay as well but anyway so whenever someone asks me to do a wedding i specifically tell them that i need at least and I mean at least 45 minutes for each girl. And honestly, I will be most comfortable with one hour per girl, right? So if you think about it, if you have nine or 10 girls, that means it will be nine or 10 hours. So I guess that's kind of why I pose to weddings with such large parties because I feel like I have to rush. Well, let's let's just think about it. If a wedding is, let's say, in the evening around 5 p.m., I'm willing to go in and start working at 8 a.m. So that's 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. So yeah, that works out perfectly. That's nine hours. Now, that's not to say that I will utilize the entire nine hours, but I would like to have that amount of time to complete my work. I could get done in five or six hours. Who knows? But I'm just saying. Like, I just did someone's makeup last night. She was going to a concert out of town. But the concert started at 7.30. I had her come at 4. I wanted to make sure that I had enough time to actually do her makeup for her to leave here, get back to her house, change into her clothes, and then travel out of town to the concert. Basically, I don't like to rush. I'm not one of those people who can do makeup in an extremely fast, paced environment i'm probably not going to be the most suitable fit for that because i don't like to rush i'm not even interested in learning how to rush because i like to take my time i pay close attention to detail i'm a perfectionist i have ocd so sometimes i go back over the same part of the makeup over and over again like eyebrows like that's my thing is i can spend a gazillion years on eyebrows now it doesn't get to the point where I'm being inconsiderate and I have the people here all day long no I'm not inconsiderate but at the same time you need to schedule accordingly if I say I need a certain amount of time then you need to schedule that amount of time for me to do your makeup if you want me to do it I don't mind if people go to other people it does not matter to me I don't discriminate at all and I don't show favoritism I treat everyone equally the same but what I don't like about weddings is like they have so many girls and then they try to fit me in a box. They give me the amount of time that they want me to get the makeup done. And most of the time I tell them I can't work under those time constraints. Like I guess in most of the cases they really want me to do it. So they're like, oh, don't worry about it. I believe in you. You'll get it done. And then I never get all of the girls done. <laughs> and I know that's really... A bad thing but I gave them a disclaimer I gave them a disclosure I let them know ahead of time and they still insist 
and I'm like oh my god seriously and a lot of times I will pray I will pray to God and I'll say please let me be able to finish all the girls please let me get through this in the amount of time that I have to you know to work with or whatever it's that serious yes I have an intern and I do have an assistant and they both go with me to each wedding that I do and they are not comfortable with doing full faces like they can do you know little odds and ends but last time they literally had to jump in and do three girls for me and that's not in their job description they really shouldn't have to do that although I do tell them they need to be prepared in the event of an emergency to do something like that but they really shouldn't have to and they were looking like deer in headlights they were they seized all the way up they were completely stunned like what what did you say as if I was speaking another language after it was over they were like um you kind of went off a little bit and I was like I did oh my god no not me but you know I never wanted to get to that point because I want it to be a pleasant experience for everyone involved not just me but the people who work for me the people whose wedding party it is it's their day they should be happy ecstatic at peace at ease comfortable relaxed i don't want to create any unnecessary stress or tension for anyone including myself um especially me because i don't work well under that type of pressure and i want to produce the absolute best work that i possibly can it's kind of embarrassing that i couldn't complete the entire task and that you know my intern and my assistant had to do some of the work that's just that's not that's not how I want to operate and next time I will just have to tell the people no I'm gonna have to start saying no because I know what I'm capable of I know myself and it's just not good business to agree to something that I know that I can't do. So I'm just gonna have to start saying to, no to people who will not give me the amount of time that I need. A lot of these times, these people can adjust, but they just want to do other things. Like maybe they wanna go to breakfast before, or you know, it's just certain things that they wanna do that I think can be tweaked a little bit to accommodate the makeup session. They don't necessarily have to. They shouldn't feel obligated to accommodate me. But the thing is, if you can't, then we just simply should part ways and I, we should not do business with one another. That's how I want to run my business because my thing is the people who wear my makeup, they are a walking, talking advertisement and billboard for my product, you know, and I don't want someone walking down the aisle looking a hot mess or it to look like a rush job or, you know, the face to look incomplete that's my brand and my name that you're interfering with when it gets to that point you know I don't want to be associated with a poor job or I'm gonna have to just start turning people down because it's really not worth it it's not worth your name it's not worth your reputation it's not worth any of that I mean yeah you really want to help the person out and you really want to do their makeup and you know you really want to accommodate them and um, you know be their makeup artist but at the same time at what cost you know some things are really honestly just not worth it it's just it's okay because for every one wedding that you can't can't do there will be some another wedding that you can it always happens like that regardless another issue that I have is and I'll just read you what my Facebook status says it says do you tip your nail tech or your hairstylist well, you should tip your makeup artist too. If you can't afford to, then you really can't afford to be getting that particular service done. Now, can you? And that's true because if you can't afford to tip, and I'm not even putting an amount on the, on the tip. But if you can't afford to tip, that means you really can't afford to be getting your makeup done. Because that means you are using probably like your last dime to get that service done. It should never be like that. People should prioritize and... Um, if they can't afford it, they just can't afford it. But I think it's definitely proper etiquette to tip. I would never go out to eat and not tip a waitress or never go and get my nails done and not tip my nail tick or go and get my hair done and not tip my hairstylist. Like those people in the beauty services industry deserve to be tipped too. That's just how I was taught and that's how I grew up and it just seems like common courtesy to me. I said I shouldn't have to put a tip jar on my vanity area where I do makeup taking up space but I guess that's the only way people will feel compelled to tip. I guess my hard work, time, energy, and effort are not good enough. 
tips show gratitude. That's why they're called gratuity. Gratitude means the quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. Hmm, if you aren't thankful or appreciative, does that mean I won't be sitting you back in my chair again? Just food for thought. And P.S. Any amount of temp is a tip is appreciated. Even if it's just a dollar, it's the thought that counts. But hopefully you aren't that cheap. LOL. Our community must do better. For those who do tip, thanks so much. You're the reason I keep doing what I do because you make me feel so loved and my work so appreciated. I already honestly, to be honest with you, I do feel like I don't charge enough and I just increase my prices and I'm somewhat comfortable with them now, but I still feel like I should be charging a little bit more, but I'm just trying to give people a break. I mean, with the economy the way that it is, the government just shut down and all this other kind of stuff and people losing their unemployment and people have even lo lost their government assistance like their Medicaid and, you know, things like that. So I'm trying to be sensitive to those types of things happening. But at the same time, if I'm too sensitive, then... I'm not going to profit from it. I'm not going to make any money. And I'm going to be the one, um, you know, poverty stricken. Because this is my job. This is what I do. This is how I get paid. So, you know, I do. I don't need to sell myself short, basically. I know what my worth is. So, I need to charge according to the work that I produce. And I produce great work. If you guys want me to show you a slideshow of all of the before before and after transformations of my clients then definitely thumbs up and if I get like I don't know a hundred thumbs up on this video that will be my very next video is a entire slideshow of maybe like 10 or 15 maybe even 20 before and afters and that way you guys can see for yourself what type of work I produce so then one of my Facebook friends said don't make the ones that don't tip feel some type of way putting emphasis on the ones who do tip I say this because I know someone who is good at what she does but she's just so rude and talks shit that it makes me not want to, to go to her even though it's not necessarily always directed towards me and I said I don't care who stops coming I meant what I said I don't talk just to hear myself talk if that means I go from 100 clients to 50 that's great that's the point. I'd rather have 50 clients who are professional and show appreciation than 100 clients who are ungrateful and don't show appreciation. It will make my job so much easier and I won't dread it. I will actually enjoy doing what I do. Trust me. The, lo the genuine loyal clients who really appreciate my craft will continue to come. And I said, I expect there to be collateral damage from this status. It's all my fault why this bothers me because my prices are already too low as it is. But I did have a couple of people agree with what I said. Someone said, I do not see anything wrong with tipping, especially if the work is great and you are great at what you do. Therefore, I agree that you should not have to put a tip jar out. When I go to my hairdresser, I feel her, I feel her price. $50 is for her product and time, but the tip is for her work, which is her labor. And then I had someone say, it is always proper etiquette to tip any beauty service. You actually take your time to create amazing finishes, not... And then she said, in, in public service announcement, folks, just because you know someone doesn't mean you don't tip them or think they owe you some sort of hookup. Can we say rude? So there are people who get where I'm coming from. They agree with what I'm saying. And then there are other people like, oh, you know, like she charges too much or I can't afford it. And that's fine. There are going to be certain people who can't afford me. But when they made one makeup artist, they made a hundred. Now, if you're like craving wanting to come to me and you're like but yeah you're not like every other makeup artist and I really really like your work and everything like that then that means you need to make certain adjustments in your budget to where you can afford me if that means you have to save up and put money to the side or whatever the case is but I can't keep bending over backwards trying to accommodate other people and neglecting my own self and my own family in the process it just doesn't work that way it can't possibly work that way but yeah, guys, tell me what you think below. You know, although this is like a venting video and I'm going, you know, it's a and it's a rant. I'm not as hype and as crunk as I usually am during my rants. It's a Sunday afternoon. I'm a little bit more 
uh, relaxed today and <laughs> I'm not all like you know I'm not all like that today so yeah it is possible to be you know calm and at ease and peaceful with rents as well you don't always have to be so over the top like I am in most of my rent videos but I do got I do want you guys to tell me what you think and comment below and don't forget to thumbs up if you want to see a slideshow of my before and afters because I take before and after photos of all my clients so yeah talk to you guys later Mwah.